Mrs. Denali's family, she was amazing. And she, um, she touched my heart and she touched my children's heart. Tonight, the LGBTQ community came together to remember Denali Barry Stuckey, a 29-year-old transgender woman who friends say had her whole life ahead of her. And she just was a wonderful person. Her and my daughter looked at each other as sisters, and they are so hurt that someone did this to her. Police say they arrived on Carner Avenue early Saturday morning on what was initially reported to be a possible auto pedestrian accident. Instead, they found Stucky on the side of the road with a gunshot wound. And now they say they're actively investigating. Um, we definitely have a homicide. Uh, I think it would be premature to label as a hate crime. Obviously, we haven't closed the book on that or anything else. Activists say her death marks the 12th this year for transgender women in the U.S. All of them were African American. We predicted just a month ago that this wouldn't be the last trans black murder. Um, but the fact that we didn't know it would be here in the holy city is the most chilling fact of it all. South Carolina is one of five states without a hate crimes law. While police search for a motive, activists say more needs to be done if it turns out that she was killed because of her gender identity. We need those sort of protections here in South Carolina. And so we're asking people to reach out to the representatives and say, we've got to make that law happen now. 